Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and we're continuing our series of iOS 7 previews, breaking down all the various new apps and features and design interfaces of iOS 7. Now obviously myself, Jake and Matt have all got the beta version of iOS 7 installed, so with it being beta there's every chance that some parts of it will change or get fixed or whatever before the, pro the public release in September or October time. I wanted to show you the new Mail app because it has been drastically redesigned like a lot of the other apps. Um, if we start off, we look at the design itself, you can see the actual icon itself, completely new. It's got a white envelope, really clean and crisp, uh, on top of a rounded square with a blue, light blue, dark blue gradient. So it's much brighter, much more vivid. If we open it up, you go straight to your all your inboxes. And you can see I've got my unified inbox there. Now, again, on a, let's look at the design first. We'll see you've got a completely white background and your messages are kind of uh, part, well separated by a really thin gray line in between each message. It doesn't quite go all the way across the screen. And any ones that are unread have got this much more vivid blue dot to show you that you haven't read them. Now, you will get other colored dots as well, depending on if you tag them or flag them. Um, they will show up there as well. And also what you'll notice on top of this field here is there's a search box right on the top which you can hide just by lifting up your, or scrolling through rather, and if you pull you refresh. But one other design feature worth noting is also that in the bottom right hand corner you've got the compose icon which is again completely redesigned. It's a simple thin square line, completely square with a little pencil on it and you tap that and you compose a new mail. That's basically the design of the thing. That's how it looks. It's white, it's black, and it's blue. I mean, it's, it's that simple. A lot of all the kind of texts are really crisp. It's very high contrast. But if we look at the gestures, there's another really interesting part of the new mail app is the gestures. Now, if I swipe from the left side of the screen to the right, you'll see that it actually opens up my options to all the other mailboxes and lets me check all the um, all my other accounts in more detail. And again, if I swipe, if I go back to all my inboxes again, if I swipe from right to left on one particular message, I can scroll across, and this is a Gmail email, and it will give me the option to archive, or if I hit more, it also gives me more options like replying, forwarding, marking it as read, moving to junk, or moving message to a completely different mailbox. But if I go into my iCloud, I've got one message in there. If I swipe across in iCloud, it gives me the option to trash, which I will take now. I don't really care about that one. So that just trashes it. It doesn't archive it like the Gmail ones, but that's more about the actual account itself and what the account will offer you. Now, if we go into one particular message, we'll open that up and you can, again, you can see the same design is there. It's still all blue and black and separated by really thin gray lines again not quite going all the way across, so you've got like a little gap on the edge there. It's a very clean and crisp and flat design. You can see the emails look really, really beautiful on there. And I think it's partly helped. I mean, if you look at the status bars, it's something that's all the way through iOS 7. Is actually they've removed the, the ugly blue status bars that made the screen seem a lot smaller than it is. Uh, by having it a very similar color all the way through, it's made the screen seem a lot bigger, less cramped, you can see if we actually look in the messages now, you've got the same same kind of design as what we're looking at with the compose icon is that very flat and angular, like simple thin lines like up and down to go to the next message. Now you've got a flag in the left and then you've got this one, which I believe is, oh, that's the one to move your message to another mailbox. I can cancel that. Um, the box there is archive and then you reply if I hit that. And I can either reply, forward, or print. I wanted to show you the new air print menu as well because that, instead of being like its own separate interface, it, again, it looks exactly like the rest of the mail app. It's very clean, very crisp, and very kind of angular. Again, the same colors, white, blue, and black, and then it's got this kind of gray, untextured background. Something else I wanted to show you again, I mean, it's something that's been in mail for a little while now, but if I go into a message that I know. You'll see on the right hand side here you've got an arrow. If you've got only one arrow there's no conversation, it's just a one single email. But if you notice you've got two arrows on this one, uh, you'll see that's got like a conversation. And there's one here I wanted to show you. Uh, we've got two arrows on this one. And what you'll see is that you've got all your messages from that conversation in one 
long list. And obviously you just select one of those if you want to read it or if you want to delete some of them, you can edit and tap the dots and you get like this check mark on there and then you can move them all or mark them all or archive them all as you can see in the options just down at the bottom. I wanted to show you again one of the features that was introduced actually in iOS 5 was VIP contacts. Uh, if I open up one of my contacts here, open up the message and hit the actual contact itself and you'll see that it doesn't go out into my contacts folder, it stays within the kind of mail interface which I really liked and if I want to add to VIP I add her on there and I can see all her emails or his emails in the VIP inbox which I will show you now if I go back across and slide across you'll see I've got a VIP box there and then I make sure that anyone that I actually find to be really important or I think is really important or is really important can be added to VIP and it will all show up in VIP and again that has the search box on there. Now another thing worth noting is actually if you scroll to the bottom of this mailboxes part here you can look at all the different accounts so I can go into my Outlook account and you can actually check all the individual you don't have to just go through inboxes like that's on the top section here you can actually check any basically any folders or mailboxes that you've got within any account you can show in here so I haven't got many in Outlook now with Gmail there tends to be tons of labels and boxes you can actually check through all of them just through here and again it just keeps the same really simple elegant uh, flat white user interface all the way through a nice nice clean and thin fonts as well now another thing worth mentioning I wanted to show you the settings as well if I go into settings and if I go into mail contacts and calendars we scroll down to the, the actual mail specific settings just here now you can actually change a lot of the settings in there so when you've got your preview showing up in your inbox you can change how many lines of preview you want to see uh, from none so it just shows who it's from and the subject or you can have a really quite a lengthy one and switch it to five lines four three two or one line um, you can also tell it that you need to show any CCs that are in there or you can make sure that you want to confirm it if you want to delete like I showed you those um, those quick gestures to delete emails from iCloud if you want it to ask you that you're, if you're sure beforehand uh, before you actually go about deleting it you can have it to tell you do you really want to do this um, you can load you can tell it to load images or not uh, ask before deleting like I said organized by thread is on but you can switch that off if you like um, you can select it to always BCC yourself, so always send you a copy of what you've just sent everybody, but in secret. Uh, and one of the great parts of, of iOS 5 that they've also moved into iOS 6 is that you can have individual signatures for each account. So let's say you've got a work email and a personal email or four email addresses like myself. You can have it to, you can change your signature on every single one and that's as easy as just typing it in there. So for instance, my work one you'll see doesn't say sent from my iPhone that's kind of uh, unprofessional so what I do is I just say sent from my mobile device please forgive any typos and the rest is sent from my iPhone is absolutely fine so anyway that's the new mail app that's all the settings that's what you can do with it now I haven't noticed any bugs or issues with it so far unlike some other parts of iOS 7 but I just wanted to give you a quick preview of mail so that you can see um, how it works and if I can give my opinion on it, what I will say is that actually because of these easy uh, gestures for archiving and organizing, it's actually made apps like Mailbox and those kind of apps for email organization and triage um, kind of redundant in a way because this is so much easier than what Mail used to be. The user interface is really elegant, it's easy to use and you can have all your inboxes, it's got push notifications, it just works, it's fantastic, it's definitely something that's worth looking forward to when it actually becomes a public release and if this is the first beta then I'm really impressed. So stay tuned to today's iPhone.com we will have much more coverage of iOS 7 we'll be doing more preview videos Jake and Matt will be doing some I'm doing some and we'll see how much we can cover in the next couple of weeks while we're trying out the first beta version but if you want to ask me any questions about mail or iOS 7 please feel free I'm at TIP underscore cam and I will see you again soon.